Luckily, the team in the emergency department are super skilled. Ooh, is it time for Super Zond? No, it's never time for him. <clears throat> well, they'll need all their super skills for this first case. Waiting in the emergency department with her mum is 12-year-old Jess. Look serious, Jess is inhaling gas and air. What happened? My ankle, like, twisted and it really hurts. Yep, her ankle's facing the wrong way. That looks painful. Let's find out more. The sun was shining and Jess was with her friend Kenzie. What were they doing? They were jumping. Jumping over buildings? It wasn't parkour, Zand. Oh, they could have been jumping in space. They weren't astronauts. They were jumping on two trampolines in Kenzie's garden. Oh! And did the trampolines have safety nets? Unfortunately not. Ah, I think I know what's coming. Yep, safety nets might have stopped Jess and Kenzie climbing on top of a fence... Oh, no! ..and jumping onto the same trampoline at the same time. Uh-oh! ..with Jess landing awkwardly on her ankle. Ouch! What do you reckon, Jess? Dislocated, I think. Let's see if she's right. Here to jump in is Dr Tim Osborne. Go to look at his ankle, then. When she first came in, I could see that it was dislocated. The ankle was twisted off to the side. You can see where the bone's pressing up against the skin. We're going to have to get this ankle back into position. So we've got the gas in there going now. We'll give you some sprays up the nose. Try and get the pain under control. The nasal spray will help relieve the discomfort Jess is experiencing. Dr Tim cuts off Jess's leggings to manipulate her ankle back into position. Good girl, big deep breath. Superstar. All right. All right, well done. Jessica was pretty brave. She didn't complain at all. We got it back into position, she coped with it really well. Jess gets a temporary full leg cast to make sure she can't move her ankle at all while the docs assess if she's got any breaks. Off she goes for x rays. OK, I think we're all finished, well done. Dr. Tim checks out the results. When Jessica's dislocated her ankle, she's broken through the bone on the inside, which holds the ankle joint in place, and that will need an operation to fix it. Dr. Tim has to break the bad news. Find out later how Jess gets on. Back in the emergency department, Jess needs surgery for her broken ankle. If only there was some way we could find out what they're gonna do. There is none. Come with me. Earlier in the emergency department, Jess came in with an ankle in agony. Jess and her friend Kenzie were playing on trampolines in the garden. They both climbed a fence jumped onto a trampoline at the same time. And Jess landed awkwardly on her ankle. Ouch! What's going on, Jess? I've been here overnight and I'm waiting for my operation on my ankle. Looks like Mum's been making her a balloon buddy. Herbert the giraffe dog. All right, Herbert, smile for the camera. I just love Herbert the dog. So do I. Jess leaves Herbert behind while she has a CT scan before her surgery. This will give the doctors more detailed images of her ankle, which they will use during the operation. She heads off to theatre. And look, Herbert's gone along for the ride. In charge of the operation is consultant Mr John Cashman. First, he looks at the detailed CT scan, a 3D picture of Jess's ankle. He can see exactly where the breaks occurred. He also notices a piece of cartilage has come loose. Ooh, that needs removing too. In the operating theatre, we made a, a hole in the joint, we cleaned out, there were some loose fragments of bone and cartilage which were removed. Mr Cashman uses an X-ray camera to help guide him as he drills a hole. And he sticks in a screw which will hold Jess's broken ankle bone back together. With Jess sewn up and surgery over, she has a new plaster cast fitted. This will be on for four weeks. What have you learned, Jess? It's to not jump on trampolines off the fences. Good idea. And a net on that trampoline, please. Time for Jess to head home. Go on, then. Off you go. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> there she goes. Hi. Bye. Still to come. Ouch patient Millie is back. Hello. And Cassidy spots wildlife. So is there a mummy giraffe? I'm here in the studio with Dr Chris. And, Dr Chris, I'm going to start with a question that is on everyone's mind today. Who is the next patient in A&E? Well, Zander, I'm very glad you asked me that. Let's go find out! Yes, let's! 
In the emergency department, eight-year-old Chris is waiting with his mum and dad. What's happened, fella? My leg started hurting. Oh, dear. Let's find out more. It was a beautiful sunny day and Chris was in the playground playing tag. He was playing with bags. He was playing tag, Zond. Oh, right, flags. Zond, he was playing tag. Stags! Right, got it. But that does sound dangerous. No, Zond, he was with his friends playing tag. OK, keep your hair on. Righto. Chris was playing tag. Yes! He was running really fast when all of a sudden his knee twinged with pain and he had to stop. Ouch! It hurts right there, under the meter. Well, Chris, we'd better get that leg seen pronto. Here's Dr Sarah Edwards to check out that painful pin. Anywhere else hurting at all? No. So it's just your knee? Yeah. Fantastic. Can you bend it for me? Kneesy does it, Doc. And can you straighten it for me? It pins. It hurts, and it's hurting just at the back here? Yeah. We'll get an x-ray of that knee area, just to have a look, all right? Chris hops off to x-ray, where radiographer Catherine Barnett checks for breaks in that knee. Keep that one nice and straight, that's it. Done. Oh, good old Dad's on hand to carry Chris. Thanks, Dad. What's the verdict, Doc? Looking at the x-ray, there's no obvious breaks or anything that we can see. It does look very swollen, that knee, though. As the joint is inflamed, Chris will have to take painkillers. Bye-bye. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Have you got any advice for when I next play tag, Chris? Be the careful and don't run that fast. Sounds good. See ya, fella. Bye. This is eight-year-old Gracie in the emergency department with her mum. Why are you here, Gracie? They fell and slammed my foot. Anything else? I was wearing a Chewbacca onesie. A Chewbacca onesie? We need to see this. Gracie was watching a rugby match at her local club with her mum and dad. Nice selfies. It was a chilly afternoon, so she was wrapped up warm in her bunny slippers and... Her Chewbacca onesie! So cool, Gracie. It was an under-20s international, Wales versus Ireland, and you couldn't take your eyes off the action-packed drama. Well, apart from the fact that poor Gracie couldn't see a thing. So she climbed up onto the seat for a better view. But it flipped up, trapping Gracie, and her foot slammed into the floor. Ouch! A Chewbacca onesie is amazing. Thank you. Is me borrowing it totally out of the question? Yes, of course it is. Gracie needs a Jedi Knight in shining armour, but we'll settle for Dr Joe Howard. Dr Joe takes extra special care because Gracie was born with a foot condition called talipes, which means the movement in her ankles and toes is limited. Uh, that's where it hurts, OK. I think it's probably worth us getting an X-ray of that foot. I like X-rays. You like it? <laughs> Who doesn't love an X-ray? Where's the X-ray? Behind you it is. What are you doing, Zand? I'm being Yoda, obviously. You've got any socks on, left shoe off for me. Shoes and socks, remove, you must. Oh, dear. Get ready for your close-up, Gracie. The X-ray results we know not. Enough with the Yoda impression, Zand. Bring the dock in. No breaks. Yay! We don't need to do anything. It's just the usual painkillers if it's sore. Take it easy. OK. Any message for that pesky seat, Gracie? You told it. Bye, Gracie. See you soon. Bye, Gracie. And may the force be with you. I say accident, you say emergency. Accident. Emergency? Accident. Emergency. Accident. Emergency. Bring up the new case in the emergency department. Word. Over at Sheffield Children's Hospital is 13-year-old Malia and her mum. What's up, Malia? The side of my head feels a bit like jelly, pain, and just, like, dizzy a bit. Ooh, how did your hurting head happen? Play fighting with my little brothers the other day. Malia was at home having a cushion fight with her little brothers Kai and Zach. Well, they'd better watch out, Chris, because in the red corner is Honey the Dog! And she's ready to take on all three of them! Right. Malia, Honey the Dog and her two brothers were rolling around on the sofa. Don't downplay Honey's skills, Chris. She's bossing it. Never mind Honey. In the crossfire, Malia was caught by an accidental elbow to the head. Followed by a pillow punch. Poor Malia. 
Was Sally okay? She was fine, but Malia was seeing stars. Ouch! I think I've got a fracture on my skull. Now that sounds serious. Have you had bad breaks before? I have broken over 100 bones before. Other people's bones might be like a rolling pin. The heart break, my bones are more like spaghetti. Malia's right. Her bones are like dried spaghetti, as they can break very easily. This is because she has brittle bone disease, or osteogenesis imperfecta. When you're born, your bones develop and grow strong when a protein called collagen is made by your body. But if you're like Malia and you don't have enough collagen, then your bones are weaker and can break easily. Here to put Malia through her paces is Dr Simon Scammell. There is some swelling there, and given your history, uh, we probably ought to do a scan of your head, OK? Malia's CT scan will take detailed 3D images of the inside of her head. So if she does have a fracture, the doctor will see it clearly. And the results are in. This is your skull around, around the outside here, and there's no obvious signs of a break in the bone there at all. So everything looks OK? That's really good. If anything changes at all, just bring her back and we'll happily see her again. OK. I'm hopeful that the, the swelling will settle down and she'll feel a lot better later on with some painkillers. Great news. Now make sure Honey the Cockapoo behaves herself at home. Bye. Bye. Bye.